Oh, hello there. Are you the Rochester Fringe Festival by chance? Well, thanks for stopping by. I I'm Mike Gowdy, and I, along with the three most talented women in my life, Kelly Boucher, Cindy Lesser, and my wife, Roseanne Gowdy, have been writing a musical that we would love for you, 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 even, not you, behind you, even you, even you, yes, you, we would love for you, all of you, to see. I just have one question. Are you thirsty for murder? <gasps> then see our show called Amy's House. That was really dramatic. So what is Amy's House? And why should anyone be interested in seeing it? Well, first of all, our story is based on real historical events. Not that made up kind of story you just forget about like Frozen. <laughs> Second, it's totally free to stream. It will only cost you your time, which is priceless, which makes our show priceless. Right. Our show tells the story of Amy Archer, a Connecticut woman who in the early 1900s started one of the first nursing homes in the United States. And that's actually the whole story. <laughs> no, it's not. That'd be so boring. It's not. Uh, she started killing everyone. Like, legit, every single person. Um, so Amy started out with good intentions, sort of. But through a variety of factors, Amy turns to killing. So Amy puts arsenic in the lemonade to kill off her residents so that more people can move into her house. But the people she kills become these voices in her head and she slowly starts losing control. Our show consists of approximately 12 cast members. You'll hear a wide variety of music. Here's a few snippets of those songs. When Amy fully embraces becoming a killer, she sings about how just a little lemonade is all you need to solve your problems. Pray for you, and when you're feeling down, I'll know just what to do. You'll see a bunch of crazy churchgoers in a Windsor way to be. There's a Windsor way to be, and our pamphlet is your key to open up acceptance in our society. We are new to our fair town. You'll hear a sweet ballad called Set Me Free, where one of the residents actually wishes to die. From the top of his shoulders, I see miles of green spaces, or nestled warm in his arms, and he'd sing me this tune. I love you all. We'll meet a chisty doctor as well, who convinces Amy he'll work for cheap on Oh What a Deal. Okay, wait, tell you what, I'll reduce my hourly rate 10% just for you, let me be your MD exclusively Your satisfaction is guaranteed What a deal, oh, what a deal And when Amy descends into madness and her world is falling apart She sings about how a scarf she is sewing is unraveling It's a little bit of a metaphor more and more, I can see the threads have stretched, they've torn apart. There is no chance to hold, they are just unraveling all around. I can see the tatters laying at my feet, unraveling, unraveling, unraveling. And there's more. A lot more. And did I mention this was based on real historical events? Because it is. It is. It's pretty crazy. We will also have a live band for our stage reading performance that will take place on Saturday, September 18th at 6.30 p.m. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. Check us out on Facebook or our website, www.amyshousethemusical.com. So have some lemonade and have a great day.